My name is Lou Lenterer, and I am the Chief Engineer of Automated Insulin Delivery Systems at Medtronic Diabetes. I'd like to walk you through the Minimed 780G system and how it helps simplify meal management. The Minimed 780G system comes with meal detection technology and the SmartGuard algorithm, which work together to help people living with diabetes get better outcomes while also helping to simplify meal times. SmartGuard automatically adjusts basal insulin and delivers correction boluses based on sensor glucose readings. A SmartGuard target is first selected to personalize the desired glucose level. The SmartGuard target helps determine the auto basal insulin that is delivered by the pump. A target as low as 100 milligrams per deciliter or 5.5 millimoles per liter can be selected for optimal outcomes. The real power of advanced SmartGuard is its ability to respond rapidly to rising glucose. An automatic correction bolus may be given as soon as the sensor glucose rises above 120 milligrams per deciliter or 6.7 millimoles per liter and the auto basal has reached its maximum delivery rate limit. Auto corrections can be delivered as frequently as every five minutes to mitigate hyperglycemia to help keep blood glucose in tighter control. You may be asking yourself, how does the system ensure that it doesn't deliver too much bolus insulin that can result in hypoglycemia? The system always accounts for active insulin and includes safety checks embedded within the SmartGuard algorithm. One of those safety checks is built into the correction bolus algorithm. The correction bolus algorithm checks every correction bolus to see if it can potentially lead to hypoglycemia. This safety check uses a general glucose prediction model to predict future glucose that may result from a correction bolus. If this model predicts hypoglycemia, then the correction bolus is reduced to a level that does not lead to a hypo prediction. The prediction model predicts where glucose is going two hours into the future based on the current sensor glucose, glucose rate of change, and recent insulin delivery. When hypoglycemia is predicted, the correction bolus amount is reduced and a new prediction is run. This process continues until hypoglycemia is not predicted or the correction bolus is reduced to zero. In this example, an initial correction bolus of one unit is predicted to reduce blood glucose below 80 milligrams per deciliter within two hours. The correction bolus is reduced to 0.75 units and the new prediction still estimates that low glucose will occur within two hours. Finally, the correction bolus is reduced to 0.5 units and the prediction is that glucose will stay above 80 milligrams per deciliter for the next two hours. The system will then deliver a 0.5 unit correction bolus. Every correction bolus is checked by the correction bolus algorithm before it is delivered to ensure effective therapy while managing the risk of hypoglycemia. What does this all have to do with meal detection? The meal detection model builds on the correction bolus algorithm. The system uses current and past sensor glucose trends to detect the presence of a meal. Without meal detection, the system may give more conservative autocorrections even as the glucose rises. With meal detection, if a pattern of rising glucose indicates that a meal has been eaten, then the system will allow more insulin to be delivered by relaxing the bolus reductions in the correction bolus feature. In many cases, this allows stronger correction boluses while sensor glucose values are rising to help bring the user safely back into range. Now that you've learned about meal detection, there's one more feature that helps make managing meal times easier for people living with diabetes. The meal bolus algorithm in SmartGuard now includes a similar glucose prediction model as the correction bolus feature. This predictor accounts for recent carbs that have been entered, sensor glucose, glucose rate of change, and total insulin in the body. If low glucose is predicted in the future, the system reduces the meal bolus to a level that avoids the predicted low. Because of this, sometimes people may observe that the bolus recommendation in the system is different than what they expected. This is normal. This is the system's way of protecting the user from stacking insulin and preventing potential hypoglycemia. This enhanced meal bolus calculation works together with autobasal, autocorrection, 
and meal detection technologies to provide the person living with diabetes better glucose control while making it easier to manage their diabetes. The MiniMed 780G is designed for real life and provides forgiveness for those times when a person may miss a meal bolus or underestimate a carb count for a meal.